Good afternoon, everybody. Listen, uh, very uh, disappointing and tough loss uh, this this past weekend. Uh, whenever you lose to a rivalry team, uh, it kind of make for a very bitter loss. And, and um, that we went through. Uh, very little sleep over the weekend. Uh, during the ball game, I thought um, we did some good things. There were some good things out there, but um, we did some things that was not so good. Uh, on the bright side of things, I thought the offensive line played well. Uh, they picked up the majority, no, pretty much all the blitz and the twists. We knew they would move a lot, and I thought they did a, a fantastic job. Um, and I thought the receivers uh, caught the ball well when it was when given the opportunity. Uh, quarterback play could have been a little better, but um, freshman, you know, we're going to have some growing pains. But I thought his poise was uh, remarkable. I thought he did a very good job, you know, staying in the game, staying focused, uh, and, and we'll fix that other stuff. Uh, defensively, I thought we played a solid game, uh, but not good enough to win. Uh, we uh, gap control was pretty sound throughout the ball game. Uh, they hit a few uh, scramble plays on us that kept drives alive. One of the most things I was most disappointed with uh, was third down. We didn't get off the field, particularly in the first half on third down. Third down was a, a big problem for us, and um, we got to get that corrected. At this point, it's about where we go from here. You know, it's very important that we move forward, get this behind us, and um, it's, it's a learning curve. And we did. We learned some things about ourselves, and uh, we move forward. Some of it was schematic, if you want to hear the truth. We, we thought we would give, we dropped eight a lot of time, gave quarterback time to throw the football. If I had to do it over, I think I'd put a little more pressure, you know, on him, uh, particularly at certain times. Uh, that's going to be quite uh, important. Matter of fact, it's going to be very important. Um, it's how you bounce back, how you handle adversity is going to identify us. You know, you have two, two ways to go. Either you fight or you quit. And I don't have quitters on my team. I don't surround myself with quitters. I surround myself with fighters. And we're going to fight. You know, that block punt, you know, really hurt us. You know, and it put us at a two-point, I mean, two-touchdown deficit. So that, uh, you know, we not since they required, but that we threw the ball more frequently because of that. You know, trying to get one of those scores back faster. But uh, if I had to do it over again, I would stay, went back to running the ball. I, 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 they just walked out of the office. I was so pleased with their, their play. Uh, and I mean, from start to finish, they played with a lot of uh, energy, a lot of effort, and um, they read their keys and uh, they, they filled gaps. They, they played a solid football game uh, from start to finish. Both linebackers. Well, no, not really. Uh, the preparation is pretty much the same. However, the time restraints are what changes everything. You know, you have a little less time to uh, prepare. And you have to be very uh, strategic about how you do that. And, and, uh, but we'll be prepared. We're going to go, we're going to fight them. We know we're playing a very worthy opponent. Uh, they are a nationally ranked team. And I really would like to see where we are and how we stand up, you know, to that level of competition. We're going to leave early Friday morning, you know, to get an opportunity to go, around, you know, walk around and take a look at the venue. And, um, and that's pretty much going to be it. I think it's, uh, the preparation time is more important this week. I think the, uh, the shoes that you use is most important. You know, so that you're not slipping and sliding all over the place. So uh, that's going to be one of the reasons that we want to go there and just take a uh, feel of the surface. North Dakota State is a, a very physical football team, a very disciplined football team. Um, they they know how to how to win, and, and I think the key to you know being a successful team is not beat yourself. Um, if you if you look at the number of penalties, uh, they rarely get penalties, and, and they play a lot of home games. 
And so I don't know if it's if they get some of that, uh, but uh, really are they penalized and they play with a lot of tenacity. Uh, they are, the running back is very shifty with speed. He does have top end speed. The receivers can fly. And um, offensive line, this perhaps to be the, the best offensive line we ever face. Uh, they're very athletic to be as big and as strong and as powerful as they are. You know, you normally don't see guys that can bend at the waist and at the knees. And uh, they do well at both of those. And so uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I'm hoping our speed will neutralize some of it, if I'm not saying too much. <laughs> but we cannot be, um, you know, sitting there and just letting them tee off on us. Uh, we're going to have to use what we bring to the table, uh, which will be movement. We got to move up front uh, and and try to um, make them change direction. You know, we're going to try to uh, duplicate it, but uh, it's going to be very difficult. I've been there twice. It's nothing like it. You know, really, uh, you can be this close to someone and, and still can't cannot hear them. You know, so a lot of it is going to have to be uh, hand signals. Uh, not a lot of it. All of it is going to have to be hand signals. And uh, so we're going to have to have a great week of preparation uh, and making sure that uh, we get the play from the sideline to the field.